Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. A while back I made a plague mask uh, of my own design and I thought I would make some kind of biomechanical cyborg type gauntlet to go with it for funsies. So today we are going to kind of just freestyle ourselves a cyborg arm. Let's get to building. I will include my base template in the description, but if you want it to fit your arm, here are the steps that you need to do. Start by wrapping your arm with plastic, I'm using a plastic bag, and then cover that plastic bag with duct tape. Draw some cut lines on it. I would say at least three sections, four might even be better. Label your parts and draw on some registration marks on the lines to help you align the parts when you go to assemble it. If it doesn't lay flat, cut some darts into the parts. I use a pattern punch to clip out my registration marks and clean up any extra with an X-Acto blade. Then I transfer my duct tape template onto some poster board. It's just easier to trace because it lays flat onto like gear foam or whatever material you're using. To make the hand plate, I traced my hand, then I drew a design within those lines. Cut it out and make adjustments so that it sits on the hand properly. Next step is to trace your pattern onto your materials. I use 6mm EVA foam for this build mostly. Of course we have to do some heat forming on these parts because forearms are rounded. Even the hand plate gets a little bit of a curve to it.
I beveled the edges of my parts to make panels when they are contact cemented together. This is where those registration marks come in handy. Leave the bottom open so that you can fit your forearm into the bracer. I ended up cutting off the elastic you see here and went with some velcro to close it up. This is an overlap so that you can close up the bottom of the bracer. Then I just added some panels for interest. These little circles I added to the base for details on the sides. Then I added some applesauce twisty top lids. Um, sand the bottoms of them so that they lay flat when you glue them on. Thanks to my sister-in-law Chrissy for saving me random plastic bits here and there that I can use for prop making. I added a little heat sink on the top by gluing these strips of 4mm EVA next to each other on ends. To add even more layers to it, I burned in the panels with my wood burner and carved in some rivet holes using the end of my Dremel bit. I rounded over some 1 inch EVA dowels to make my knuckle parts for the top of my hand plate.
It got primed with some Plasti Dip, of course. Then I sprayed a base coat in some satin black spray paint. For my paint job, I decided to make it match my Plague Doctor mask, so I used red acrylic paint and gold metallic wax paint for the detailing. I got some EL wire from Amazon to use in the aquatic vinyl tubing. My hand needed to be covered so I bought some work gloves from Lowe's. I velcro on the hand plate onto the glove, run the tubing through the forearm and the knuckles, and then run the EL wire through the tubing. are finished here is the end result overall pretty pleased with the way it turned out it is not exactly the most comfortable thing to be wearing uh, especially with the hoodie on and this thing on it's a little bit hot but 
Definitely you could make some adjustments like I did to make it a little bit more comfortable. I did have to go in and cut the elastic banding and just add Velcro to attach it because it was almost impossible to get off. Um, getting it on was pretty easy. Uh, so there's Velcro down there that pulls on and off. Um, I also did that with the top of it just so that I could put the glove on after I put the bracer on. So yeah. Maybe you'll try and make this sweet bracer yourself and impress your friends with your cyborg biotechnical gauntlet, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. Uh... I don't know that I'm going to make all costumes, so please don't ask. Peace out! <laughs>